This is a pop to you, nostalgia. <gasps> they didn't give me my little- Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, you guys voted for these miniature little appliances. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be because that's where you guys got to vote. Number one, miniature chocolate dipping pot. When I saw this, I thought, crock pot, like a little mini crock pot for queso dip and all kinds of stuff, not just for chocolate. I think they rolled these out for like Valentine's Day or something because they're just too damn cute. And for your lover, cook for them, make them something nice, chocolate, strawberries, cherries, all kinds of fruit can be dipped in here. You know what it also reminds me of? I was gonna say potpourri, but nobody uses potpourri, but one of those wax melting things. Is it kind of like that? I don't know. Oh, it's too little, it's too little. <laughs> You guys know I can't handle uh, <laughs> miniature things. This is not enough for even two people. This is enough for one person, but I can't. This company, Nostalgia, hashtag not sponsored, but I'm collecting my coins, so go ahead and send me a check. Can we make chili for one, <laughs> maybe? So I'm not going to melt chocolate or queso. We're gonna do these candy melts. We're gonna start a catering business, miniature everything. Imagine starting a food truck called Minis. You just pour it in, right? I don't need instructions for this. Ooh, that was perfect measurement. I'm telling you, put some of those, uh, like, wax melts in there. Mm, your bathroom's gonna smell good. <laughs> I'm gonna plug them all in together. Because when you have a food truck, you're gonna have to plug everything up because how are you gonna make all the minis if you, your shit can't run all at the same time? A regular crock pot would give you a little high or low. This one doesn't have it. Number two. Miniature cake pop maker. Cake pops became a thing years ago, but the manual way, you would have to make the cake, make balls, and then dip them. Now, you just put cake batter in here and boom, you got cake balls. <laughs> These are multi-purpose. Just gave you ideas for this one. For this one, you can do, I guess, donut holes. I don't like the idea, but I like the idea of cake pops. You can make more money. Now, I don't have any of those little white sticks you put in these cake pops because they were expensive and I was not. Have you seen how expensive those are? They should have thrown some in with this. The little white sticks are like three for $10. <laughs> I can get a million popsicle sticks for like 59 cents. These will work. You too good for popsicle sticks now? You ain't gotta get all fancy with those other ones. I hope I'm not making three little cake pops. We got a wedding. <laughs> they're miniature. Like I know they're miniature because the title of this video is miniature things. <laughs> but I thought it was just a miniature version of the appliance. But no, even what you're making is miniature. That's too cute. I love it. So you do have a little indicator button there to I guess to tell you when it's hot. Let's see if I can do this and you guys can watch at the same time. How much to put in? Oh, too much! Dum dum. Have you seen those Instagram videos where those people make those uh, ball desserts and then they're turning them with a little stick? Okay, that's it. It's kind of a mess, but close it, close it, close it. I don't think you squeeze it. You just leave it alone. Mm, it smells heavenly though. Can you guys see it underneath? If you make all these miniature minis for your lover for Valentine's Day and then leave them these <laughs> as presents, they're gonna love it. That's a great gift idea. Plus you cook for them, so win-win. Now these were kind of expensive for being miniature size. Like I needed them to be like six bucks each, but they were $10 a pop. That's a lot. Because if you're trying to get the whole collection like me, <laughs> because we collect miniature things. If you're trying to get the whole collection, that's like 70, 80 bucks. Ready? Do you love it? That was pretty fast. I think they're done. That's too small to be a cake ball. For the wedding, they're not gonna pay $2 a pop. I can't even put my damn stick in that. What if I fill the whole thing? Just pour, Vivian. That's the secret, maybe. Close it, close it, close it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Who's gonna clean that up? <laughs> no, I'm cooking, you're cleaning. The thought of cleaning all that makes me not like it anymore. <laughs> but that was my fault. But I am disappointed in the results. Boom. Then what you wanna do is cut around to loosen and separate from the raw batter. That's not a cake pop though, sorry about it. One side looks really good, the other side, eh. So I'm gonna give the miniature cake pop maker to Vivian Head, sorry about it, but you let me down. Number three, miniature heart waffle maker. Now I'm gonna put a twist on this one. I didn't wanna do just a regular ass pancake because it's Valentine's Day and it has to be extra special. <laughs> Cause you know why. 
We're gonna make cinnamon roll pancakes. It's automatic sexy time. <laughs> Do you love the red or the pink so far? I'm gonna vote red. That's a sexy color right there. Let's look at it together. Ready, close your eyes. Ready, one, two, three, go. We're gonna start with that cake batter. I wasn't gonna make 50 different kinds of batter. Then we'll try this. This is strawberries and cream. And that's already sexual <laughs> in nature. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, nostalgia people. If you're watching this, give us instructions. <laughs> I'm sure you did in the booklet that you put in there, but uh-uh. I need a fill line. <laughs> that's what I need. I don't have time for a miniature ass thing that's gonna take me three seconds to make to read a 30 page manual. Valentine's Day, we're in a hurry because we forgot. I think that's good. That's about how much. Close it. I hate opening these. You guys gave me a lot of tips on how to open these, which I don't know why I do this, see? I start to hyperventilate as soon as I tear the first little thing. Oh my God, if this thing pops, then it's me in my throat. I think that's what scares me. Every time I open one of these, I get scared because I'm like, something's gonna come flying in my face. <laughs> and then the paramedics are gonna find me with a fucking lid on it. Murder my popping can. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check this real quick because I feel like it shouldn't take that long. Oh, it's the most perfect thing ever. Look. Now we bang it on the counter. Ready? <laughs> These are strawberries and cream. Have you ever heard of that? Why are they so huge? Did I get the giant jumbo <laughs> size? I think I did. It's Valentine's Day. You gotta splurge. <laughs> Cross your fingers that this works because this is gonna be a good automatic. <laughs> That's too much, huh? I'm gonna squish it down too. Probably bad idea, but I am. I bet this turns out to be the best idea of the whole video. You just take the batter off, the access batter. <laughs> Baby, did you just say access? <laughs> yes, I'm tired of this being an ESL class. <laughs> Get out of my face. Nostalgia, I got another tip for you. Give me a little clamping thing, clip like this, like a little locking mechanism. Technology. <laughs> German engineer. <laughs> That's all the buzzwords that they put in those infomercials. If you put one of those, then when I have big old things like this, it'll work. And then this can be multi-purpose instead of just the waffle maker. Oh, <gasps> it worked. All you have to do is cut it. It's a cinnamon roll. She's gonna get your kitchen scissors, not these scissors, because I use these for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but this is demonstration purposes only. I'm only ruining one. Tell me this is not a good idea. It is a cinnamon roll waffle. So I'm gonna give the miniature heart waffle maker five Vivian heads. Number four, miniature griddle. This one you can make eggs, patties, like burger patties. You can do all kinds of things. But I thought, you know what? I love Pazookis, Zazookis from BJ's. I, I always say the name wrong. I think it's Pazuki. Raise your hand if you know what a Pazuki is or a Suzuki. <laughs> Warm cookies. <gasps> Ooh, Cheddar's makes, I think they call it Cookie Monster, which is the same thing, but theirs is big, isn't it? I don't remember. It's been a thousand years since I went to a Cheddar's, but warm cookie with vanilla ice cream on top. <laughs> I love this one. I love all of them when they come out. They're the exact same damn product. They just changed the plates. What y'all should do, nostalgia, I'm giving y'all all kinds of tips. I'm gonna charge y'all my consulting fee. What y'all need to do is sell one of these and then sell me all the plates. There is absolutely no need for me to have 20 of these out. Send me a check for that royalty because that's a genius idea. I swear to God, if y'all come out with a product like that, after 12 months, you're free from our verbal contract. Until then, send me my coins. Mmm, Valentine's Day cookies with little heart sprinkles on top. You're gonna get two little squares and make a ball. I think that's the perfect size. That's a good size right there, see? Okay, and then close it. Go to BJ's and ask for a Suzuki. <laughs> Tell them Vivian sent you for a Suzuki. <laughs> They better rename the damn dessert after me if y'all go in there asking for it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Nope. Can we put a cinnamon roll in here and make a cinnamon roll cookie? See, this is what you should have done to begin with. You squish it down first. Then, maybe. But it's not touching the surface on top. Listen, this wasn't a genius idea of mine. The box said we can do cookies. So don't tell me this is not made for cookies. Flip it, turn it, rub it down. Oh no, oh no. It's gonna take the same amount of time as it did in the oven. I might as well cook the whole damn dozen cookies. I don't have a little baby spatula. Do you? 
Can I borrow? <laughs> this is what I call a cookie scramble. I invented it. I'm gonna try the cinnamon roll now. Cross your fingers, I need this to work. Cause this griddle is about to go in the trash. I bet this is gonna be a winner right here. Mm. Heavenly. If y'all just installed a little hooky thing right here, that technology, German engineer. <laughs> you stupid man. <laughs> I wanna be in the infomercial if you're gonna sell these the way I just did it. It's so perfect. This is so, look at that. Tell me that is not the most perfect thing you've ever seen in your whole life. Now a little bit of this on top. Girl, it just melted. I wanna see if it'll spiral like a cinnamon roll. They can just unroll it just like a cinnamon roll. So I'm gonna give the griddle, especially if you're gonna make these, Five Vivian heads so far. I think this is my favorite one. Okay, now that they're cool, they pop out of here really easily. So you don't have to use the cutting with scissors method that I taught you earlier in the video. How am I gonna make it a pop when it looks? <laughs> this is a pop to you, nostalgia. Unplugged that already. So mad. You ruined all my melts. See if I can get something on this damn cake pop thing. You're gonna have to apply it like this. You can't just dip it. You know how long it's gonna take you to make a hundred of these for the wedding? I'm sad about both of these. I'm gonna use this to melt wax, that's it. So I'm gonna give the miniature chocolate melty crock pot three Vivian heads. <gasps> they didn't give me my little skewer things. It includes four stainless steel dipping forks. I'm gonna give y'all two Vivian heads cause y'all didn't give me dipping forks. Number five, miniature lava and bunt cake maker. I like this color. It's not my favorite, but I do. Oh, ooh, that's a pretty teal. See, I didn't realize it was like a bun cake. It said that on the box, but I thought bun cake meant something else. I wanna love this one because they're gonna look so beautiful. Could you imagine if we make a stack, like a wedding cake with all bun cakes like that and everybody can just take a piece? So one side has like the bun kind of design and the other one is flat. See, I think y'all thought this one through. I think the trick is don't put too much. <gasps> just a little bit, just a little bit. Let me give you a pro tip. One of those like pancake squeezy bottles and just go like that, Shh, probably better. Close it. I'm gonna say that's done. You just have to guess at this stuff. <laughs> Before I put too much, now I didn't put enough because nothing's happening. They're just there looking stale. <laughs> Can I flip it? That's the question. This is probably not recommended. This is just me experimenting for the show. Listen, if stuff's gonna take more than 15 minutes in here, I might as well use my own oven and make a whole full-sized one. Ready? The hell is that? See how my little sticks have come in handy? The results are very amateur. So I'm gonna give the miniature bunt cake maker two Vivian heads. Hold on, a little bit more. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's see what happens here. I'm not taking Vivian heads off when it spills out like this, cause that's me. <gasps> it's beautiful, kind of. You're gonna have to use the scissors again. That's how you do it. You overfill it. You don't try to fill each one up. Huge difference in the results from my first batch to my second batch. So I'm gonna revise this and say, I'm gonna give this guy three Vivian heads. I think I said two before. Number six, miniature sandwich maker. This one's red as well. And I think it's a little bit bigger than the other ones for an apartment, dorm room, all kinds of stuff. This one, <laughs> this one has the German engineered locking mechanism. Hello, y'all need to put this on all the other ones we just did. This can't go wrong, right? I mean, that's pretty simple. Let's spread some almond butter. Because it has that locking mechanism, I think that it, it should cut this, right? It also has cutting technology. <laughs> See, boom. Now you can let it go, go watch TV, unlock. Oh, beautiful. This one actually did a decent job. It's nice and toasted and hot as hell. It's the locking mechanism. That's what's missing from all the other ones, but nice and toasted on both sides. It made a perfect little pocket. Look at the almond butter in there. So I'm gonna give the miniature sandwich maker four Vivian heads, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.